If you want to run Android games, you'd probably pick one of these emulators. But what if I told you that you can do the same without using any emulator at all? That's right, because Google has finally released the stable build of Google Play games, and they've added a solid collection of titles to their library. In this video, we're going to install it and test it out to see if it's actually good enough to replace the emulators we've all been using. So guys, for those of you who don't know about Google Play games, let me explain. It's basically an official way to run Android games on your PC. The only issue was that it stayed in beta for a long time, and the features were pretty limited. But recently they released the stable version, and they've added a bunch of improvements, which we'll talk about later in this video. Now, if you open their website, you won't see anything labeled as beta anymore. To get the setup file, just click this button, and it'll start down downloading instantly. The installation process is pretty simple. The only downside is that you can't change the install location. It automatically installs on your C drive, so keep that in mind. During installation, it'll also download a few additional files first, so don't worry if it takes a bit of time. The installation is complete. Upon launching, it'll take you through a sign-in process, which is required as you'd expect from Google. I've already done that. Now, there are a lot of premium games that you can explore. Also, I want to mention that games like PUBG Mobile and COD Mobile are missing, and since this is focused only on games, you can't install apps like WhatsApp, TikTok, or anything else. To do some testing, I installed a few games. First, let's play Clash of Clans. The game has opened, and before you ask, yes, this is my TH12 account. I used to play this game a lot, but nowadays I don't get much time for it. The game is running like a charm, and it looks pretty great on a bigger screen. Let's close this one and try Asphalt Legends. I know it's not the heaviest game out there, but we can consider it for testing purposes. The gameplay is super solid, and the graphics look clean and stunning. I am not experiencing any kind of frame drops or lag. When it comes to settings, you get a few options like screen resolution, FPS limit, and more. For key mapping, it's available but only for selected games right now, which is definitely a downside. Overall, the entire platform feels clean, lightweight, and way more stable compared to emulators. If you're planning to play some basic Android games, especially the ones officially supported here, then I'd say it's absolutely worth trying. And that's pretty much it for this video. If you run into any issues or need help, feel free to drop a comment. I'll try to assist. Thanks for watching, take care, and I'll see you in the next video.